Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are here live broadcasting to you from ITW 2023. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA, and this is ITW Extra, powered by JSA, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. And guys, we are here in National Harbor, just a stone's throw away from DC. And I am joined by incredible thought leaders here from Scala Data Centers. We have Christiana Weishun, the Senior Director of Strategy and ESG Program, as well as Agostino Valella, CTO and Engineering Vice President. Thank you guys for joining us today. Welcome. Thanks I'm, for having I'm us. a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for receiving us. Oh, it is such an honor, such an honor. Of course, you guys are known uh, as the sustainability partners of ITW. There's so much, so much for us to talk about. But first, for our viewers who might not already know, and we should write that wrong right now, can you tell us just a little bit about Scala? Sure, sure, definitely, yes. Uh, thank you, Jamie. So Scala Data Centers was created in April 2020 when Digital Bridge decided to buy two data centers in Sao Paulo from UOL Divio, Sao Paulo in, in Brazil, uh, to spin off Scala. It's a sustainable, Latin America sustainable hyperscale data center platform uh, to pursue the cloud providers' demand that were uh, you know, growing at that time. And that strategy proved it itself to be so right that we have been increasing 100% uh, year over year. So it's a, a massive growth. And what do we do? We build and operate state-of-the-art sustainable data centers for hyperscalers and provide um, renewable power uh, cooling, connectivity, and also uh, security for them. Actually, we have a very, very uh, unique strategy for hyperscalers in Latin America. Um, we dedicate, we have dedicated areas for them in single tenant facilities where they can have a whole building or data house instead of racks, which is more common in that region. Right. Um, and we also offer them uh, a reserved capacity where they can grow their, uh, so in the, in the, for, for the next years and decades. Uh, we also now have uh, more than 60 megawatts of IT capacity uh, in Sao in, in São Paulo, and we are where we have seven operational data centers. When we are growing, uh, and we are building nine more in Sao Paulo, uh, Chile, Colombia, and Mexico, in the other countries of Latin America. And we, in, we, we were enabled, what enables that fast growth is uh, our two proprietary construction methods. The, one of them is one Scala template uh, designed for high capacity buildings. Um, and where we are, we base, we have a, a standard framework where we can customize for our hyperscalers uh, requirements. And we also have a, a fast deploy approach, which is, uh, w which is, is um, a highly scalable, highly uh, replicable solution based on modular and uh, modular components. And this was created by our center of excellence in engineering with more than 200 engineers and architects. They are dedicated to the whole life cycle of our data centers. So they are dedicated to the test fit, design, operations, and construction, and delivery to operations. And actually, Agostinho here, my peer, is responsible for, for that. Um, and so what else can I say about Scala? Uh, we are doing all that in a sustainable way. So we are, were the first uh, hyper the, sorry, we're the first data center operator in Latin America to operate with 100% renewable renewable energy coming from renewable sources. And we were the first uh, to attain the carbon neutrality. And we are super, uh, we are highly efficient. Our PUE is the lowest in Latin America. We operate with around 135 PUE as opposed to 174, which is the average in the, in the region. Uh, we don't use water. In our data centers, uh, we they are, they are air cooled, and we on top of that we we operate with the free cooling technique, which uh, we, in more cold days we can use the external air to refrigerate our data centers, and so we can turn off some fans, and that can uh, save us energy. So I'm sorry about that; it was a long story, but I think it was we have so achieved so many things in this years that I have to, to be longer than, than necessary, sorry. No, not at all. You can hear your passion for, for Scala and, and for sure a well-earned passion because you have capacity, uh, scalability, yeah. and of course, 
sustainability, which uh, Agostino, um, as a CTO and engineering vice president, uh, you are making making it happen, if you will. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, how Scala contributes to carbon offsetting. Well, uh, on top of contributing with the afforestation of uh, 6,000 trees as part of the sustainability partner effort of ITW. Uh, we're also looking to other uh, uh, venues, so other opportunities of uh, carbon capture, carbon offsetting. On top of what uh, Christina just mentioned, I mean, our sustainability uh, credentials, very honestly, I think they're pretty impressive. Uh, and I would add to that that we are looking very seriously into green concrete, for instance, which we see as a, a very effective way of uh, doing carbon sequestration, doing uh, carbon removal. Uh, not only uh, with the uh, cement, with the concrete itself, with the aggregates, but also with the way the cement is made. Okay, and I think that can ha that can have a huge impact. And we might even possibly impact the way the rebar is steel is made in the sense of making it also with a low carbon footprint. And on top of that, we are looking to other ways of reducing our carbon footprint, such as replacing um, diesel with green diesel. And by green diesel, I mean uh, things like HVO or gas to liquid, just to quote two examples here. And uh, we also look into other ways to reduce our footprints. For instance, um, having more circular approach to everything we do, uh, reviewing whether we should stay with um, lithium batteries or maybe use high rate uh, lead batteries. So we're looking at this in a very holistic way beyond traditional things that the industry has been looking into. And, you know, that, that makes me think about uh, a colleague of yours spoke earlier today at ITW and really talked a lot about your fast deploy product. Can you give our viewers a little a little clip about that? Yes. Um, in, in the Cliff Notes version of fast deploy is that it is innovation that Scala has devised in order to uh, deploy uh, hyper-edge uh, data centers. By hyper-edge, I mean the data centers that are deployed at the edge, not only to hyperscalers, but also to uh, over-the-top players, to CDNs, etc. And normally, when you uh, want to do this kind of deployment, you do want to do it faster than a conventional data center, but at the same time, you want to provide the same experience as a conventional data center. That's the tricky part. So the way you want to do this is, at the same time, you're pursuing permits and construction. You want to basically be building uh, uh, prefabricated modular data centers so that w when you're done with the foundation, you can bring in these uh, prefabricated modular data centers, assemble them uh, at the construction site, and build a shell around them. So again, uh, in a way that you can provide experience of convention data center, but shelving, shaving the time that it takes to build a data center uh, by almost half. So I'm, go I'm saying going from 18 months to build a data center to almost 12 months, something like that. So it, it provides a tremendous saving in terms of time. And again, that would translate into sustainability. Because when you fabricate something, instead of building at the site, you, you end up having economies of scale that are intrinsic to a factory, which are which definitely has a lower carbon footprint. On top of that, the fact that it's modular, because you're, you can add PMDCs. You build one single shell, but you can actually add PMDCs as you go. You can also uh, uh, benefit from a new technology that come along. So actually, you, this future-proofing means that if you have a more sustainable way to build a PMDC, you will benefit from that. Okay. And so all that contributes to being more sustainable, using less material. You know what blows my mind is that you guys have only been here for three years. Three is that years. right? Three right. years. And I feel like just the level of detail, you guys have figured out our sustainability needs. And uh, as an industry, we're looking to you guys as inspiration. Uh, so I cannot... I cannot be more appreciative that you're sharing all this incredible information with our viewers here today. I, I really, you guys are talking my love language, and I'm and I'm so grateful for you all. Um, so, talking these past three years, you guys have grown so significantly. Yeah. What do you attribute to all this success? Yes, we have a very highly skilled uh, management team that is totally focused on the success of our customers. They are in the center of our of our strategy, you know, as well as sustainability. It, they are at the very core of our, of our, of our strategy. And um, besides that, I would highlight also that we are uh, located in strategic locations in uh, Latin America. We also have anticipated the demand and we, so we procure in advance land, power, um, and uh, equipment in advance so that we can secure availability and time, right? And um, on top of that, I would highlight that we have this ESG and EHS 
uh, top uh, of mind programs uh, running in the company. Um, and also, last but not least, I would highlight, highlight the state of uh, the art, let's say, uh, in design and operation and construction teams that we have. Without them, we wouldn't be nothing. Yeah, I'll tell you. It, it really does go back to the power of, of the people, too. You can have uh, all the technology uh, and creativity in the world, but it has to come from humans yes, and, and, and phenomenal leadership. You should mention your CEO being recognized yes. and uh, the Power 100 list from Capacity just announced. So congratulations. We're super proud of that, in fact. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's huge, by the way. It's huge. That, that list is like re the real deal. So congratulations. Thank you. All right. So where can our viewers go to learn more about Skyla? Yes, our website, scaladatacenters.com, uh, and our LinkedIn, we are very active in LinkedIn, and also we always participate in events like ITW, we are always around uh, participating in panels and interviews and things like that, so that's it. <laughs> uh, ITW's official sustainability partner, guys, Scala Data Centers, if you haven't heard of them yet, you better, you better look them up. ScalaDataCenters.com. .com. Oh, got to say it. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. Your expertise was incredible. We so appreciate you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to ITW Extra, powered by JSA. Happy networking. <laughs>